Most of y'all should know by now that I took delivery of my brand new Trek Roscoe 7 sitting right behind me about a month ago. And ever since, I've always wanted to upgrade it, but I didn't really want to spend my money because I like just bought a new bike. So I reached out to Trail One Components for some grips and a fender, and they actually said yes, thankfully, and they sent those out. And today, I'm gonna be doing a quick little review on those products. mentioned trail one sent out two products to review on my youtube channel which this is actually the review video that you're watching right now one of them being hell's gate grips and the other being their fender just standard fender i love the logo and everything i cannot even express how good these grips feel and even if you cannot afford a 30 dollar set of grips i'm going to leave a discount code down inside of the description below to get 20 percent off anything that you buy on trail one components website so first let's talk about these grips these grips are the hell's gate by trail component grips for only 30 dollars uh which is on honestly not that much for what you pay for one thing that i was a little bit bummed out about these grips is that if you're a beginner and you're just buying these grips for the first time you are not going to have a allen key to put them on and it's not like a screwdriver bit it's an allen key so you're going to have to buy a whole entire separate set of allen keys if you're going to want to install these grips but other than that, these grips are practically perfect. And these grips are also really durable. The little, the little time that I've ridden on them, I've not had them tearing up at all. These little ridges on here, they work really well. And the little bumps, they just feel so good inside of your, the palm of your hand. I did have a little bit of rippage on this side. Let me find it. Oh, right here. This little spot right here, it did, it did seem to kind of like rip open as I rode. But I'm gonna give these grips of, of a scale from one to 10, the durability, probably about an eight and a half because I was a little bit bummed out on that. I've only had these grips, been riding on them for about three days now. So now I've got my riding gloves on and I'm gonna show you how they feel inside of a hand. And whenever I first installed these grips, I didn't know how many newt meters to torque them down to. So I just kind of guessed. I tightened it down pretty well. I could still move the collar around in, in the whole entire grip. So I wish that Trail One would have put a newt meter sign on the bolt or something like that because it would have made it a lot more simple. I also would like to point out these sticky finger bike lever grips that I got. Uh, unfortunately, Trail One does not sell these off of Amazon. They don't even sell these in general, but they're very, very high quality company and I love their products for the little products that I've had from them. But anyways, that's basically gonna wrap it up for the review off of these grips. So let's go ahead and head on to the fender. So whenever I got the fender, it did not come inside of a plastic bag or anything, but the one plus that pointed out this fender from all the others is it came with zip ties. I've never had a fender from any company anywhere that came with zip ties out of a box. So that's a huge plus from this fender. That's a 10 out of 10 by far. Uh, I'm so excited to see that it came with zip ties because I didn't even have any zip ties in stock at my house. The Fender also comes with this nice little Trail One logo, at least mine does. You can pick a Trail One sign, like this one up here. It'll come with Trail One components on the Fender. Or you can pick this. I really like this because it was re really simple. It didn't really have any letters or anything that you had to read. You just look at it and you'd be like, oh, that's a Trail One Fender. So that's really nice touch. Uh, I like how they give you different options and stuff like that. The Fender was by far very easy to install. Just in a couple minutes, I had it on my bike and I had my old one off of it. I'm not gonna lie, those grips and that Fender look absolutely amazing. I would like to know that all the products for the rest of this video were all bought by me. No company sent them out to me. No one else bought them for me. If you're a company and you wanna reach out to me and send me a product, I'm gonna leave my email down inside of the description below so you, you can contact me through that and we'll work things out from there. So as most of y'all know by now, the base of my mountain bike is a Trek Roscoe 7 and all the upgrades on it will be mostly down low and towards the back of the bike, including my Rock Bros pedals that I got off of Amazon for 25 bucks. I'll leave all the stuff that you see in this video down inside of the description below, including my bike. And I also got these race face crank protectors 
These things are a lifesaver. They're only about six, $6 off of Amazon. And other than that, the bike is actually completely stock. I know you're stunned. I plan on getting a new drop post lever because this one isn't that good. But drop post does go up and down. It's awesome. I love a drop post. I do also plan on upgrading the lever on these Shimano MT200 brakes. The brakes are absolutely amazing. It's just mainly the lever. These are only like two finger levers. So I hope to put on some better levers hopefully soon. I'm most likely also going to get a new set of handlebars and a new stem. I've been debating on what to get. So please let me know down inside the comments below what you would recommend. Other than that, my bike is stock. Well, friends, that's pretty much going to wrap it up on my review of the Trail One components, grips, and their fender. I absolutely love the fender. The logo, it's so sleek, as well as the grips. We as well showed y'all a couple of the components that I upgraded on my mountain bike that I spent with my own money. If you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys on the next upload.